Okay, welcome back. It's me, Abel, again. So on the previous video, I have worked on the example A, where the reflex ratio is 3 and how many number of stages are required. In this video, I will do the second question. The second question which says what will be the number of theoretical stage if the Q value is 1.2. What is Q? When you say Q, Q represents the feed line or the feed characteristics. So Q is, in general, it's the heat required to convert one mole of feed to saturated vapor divided by the molar heat of vaporization of the saturated liquid. So this is the feed line. So the feed line and this is the feed tray. So you have some uh, liquid entering from the top uh, to the feed tray and it passes the feed tray in addition with the uh, feed here. So based on this, uh, you can uh, drive the equation of the Q value. Q value means the amount of uh, liquid, uh, the amount of liquid in the slip section minus the amount of liquid falling from the top divided by the amount of feed. Or you can also use the latent heat for the vapor, the feed, and the liquid. So this is the general formula for uh, Q. So here you can also use this equation. This equation is called the Q line equation or the feed line equation. So if you have the Q value, so you will have the operating condition for the feed line. This line passes through the point XFXF on the equilibrium diagram. XFXF or the depth, the depth depending on your notation. And it has a slope of Q over Q minus 1. So the Q over Q minus 1 is here is the slope and the intercept will be uh, minus the depth over Q minus 1. Z depth or XF, the mole fraction of the more volatile component in the feed. And on our question, ask it what will be the number of theoretical stage if Q is equal to 1.2. So you just substitute the value of Q in 1.2 1 here and the value of XF or uh, the mole fraction of cyclopentane here is 0 0.35. So when you substitute this equation, this Y is equal to 5X minus 1.57 will be your uh, operating line for the feed. You can have different conditions of uh, feed when the before it enters to the distillation column, it could be the feed could be as a liquid. It can be liquid. So if it is liquid or uh, below its bubble point, then the, the Q value is always greater than one. That means from this equation, if it is below its bubble point, then the HL value will be higher than the HF. This value, HV over HF over HV over minus HL will be the value will be greater than 1 because HL is greater than uh, the value of HF. So on the equilibrium line, the Q line will have such kind of line. Uh, oh, for example, the feed uh, can enter at its bubble point, boiling point. So that means the value of HL and HF is equal. So Q will have... Uh, the Q value will be 1, HF over HL will be 1. So Q will be 1. So the Q line will have a straight line. So in this case, the slope will be infinity because Q value is 1. Based on uh, the feed condition, you can have different values for Q and different line of uh, different lines of or different operating line for the feed equation. For example, the feed can be partially vapor or saturated vapor or superheated vapor. Based on the situation of the feed, then you can have different values of Q and the slope will be different. So here you can see that cold liquid or if the feed is below its bubble point, then you'll see that the Q line will have such kind of slope. When Q is equal to 1, the slope will be infinity, so therefore the Q line will be this, uh, the Q line will be this one. Mind you that it always passes through the point XF, XF, here XF, and also here XF. Here this is when the feed is cold, and this is when the feed is at uh, its boiling point, and this will be the slope, it will have a negative slope if the feed is a uh, partial vapor. And here, if it is saturated vapor, the slope will be zero. And here, if it is superheated vapor, uh, you will have a, such kind of slope. So this will be the uh, definition of Q. If you understand this, what Q line is, so we can go to our exercise. So the example says, what will be the number of theoretical states if Q is 1.2? So 
Here, what will be changed is still the top operating line will still be the same for this one. What will be changed is the bottom operating line. So whenever the top operating line in the Q line intersect, that will be the feed point. So the bottom operating line at this point will be the point uh, you are going to connect the point of intersection of the top operating line with Q to XW, XW. So you, based on this, you can get the bottom operating line uh, to determine the number of stage. So here, for example, in our case, the Q value is greater than 1 since we have 1.2 value. So the operating line should be, uh, the slope should be like this, like this one here. The top operating line and the Q line intersect at this point. So the bottom operating line will be the line you are, you are going to connect the point of XW, XW here to the intersection point. So this will be your bottom operating line. So based on this, uh, we can do our uh, example in a simple way. So on previous, on uh, my previous video, you have seen how we come up with uh, the equilibrium, uh, the equilibrium graph here and also the top operating line. Q equation is this one. The Q line is given here. So you have to draw this uh, equation, linear equation, onto this the benzene cyclopentane equilibrium diagram. So if you take, for example, uh, since this equation passes through XF, XF, so you take 1.x to be 0 0.35 and the other 0 0.35. And the other, if you substitute x to be 0, then the y-intercept to be 1.75. So you plot these two data, data into the benzene cyclopentane uh, equilibrium diagram. So finally, you will get, so this will be, this will be your feed line. So once you determine the Q line, as we said before, the intersection point between the top operating line and the Q line should uh, give us the bottom operating line or the stripping section. So the stripping section is the XW, XW point is 0 .2, 0 0.027 as we have seen in the previous video. So you just have to con connect this intersection point with the, here it's 0 0.027. This line will be the bottom operating line. This point, this point will be the intersection point of the top operating line, the bottom operating line, and the feed. So once you have done this, then you are going to start to make the, based on MACFT method, you just have to draw the number of stage. So here you can just draw, try to find the uh, molar composition in the vapor and in the liquid phase using such kind of approach. So once you arrived here, so at this point, this point, will be the stage where the feed enters. So this will be the tray at which the feed is entering the distillation column. So this is, after this point, the operation will be in the stripping section. Therefore, this uh, line should start touching the bottom operating line. So after this, the bottom operating line will work. So as soon as it, it reaches the point 0 0.028, then this will be the last stage or the final stage for uh, the operation. So when you count the number of stages, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 number of stages, 9 theoretical number of stages if you have a Q value of 1.2 and the feed enters at the stage of 1, 2, 3, 4. In the fifth stage, the fifth stage or the fifth tray will be the feed tray. So this is how you are going to do uh, if there is, uh, if you have to know the condition of the feed, then the operation will be uh, computed just like uh, this. Uh, I will also do the other two questions on the next video. Uh, see you next time.